Captain, you seeing this? What the hell is that? No one knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Chimeran virus. Our only clue is a journal entry recovered from the body of a US medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. Unlike the other soldiers, his body had no wounds at all. The sergeant refused any kind of medical examination, insisting on catching up to the rest of the company. If that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, then he remains the only known person to wake up after being infected. Whether the Chimeran virus mutated within him, or whether his body had an innate resistance to it, remains a mystery. Hello YouTube, we're going to another episode of Visiting Resident Evil. Ah, oh, screw it. Uh, hello, we are back with another episode of Resistance. I am, today I am unfortunately alone with this episode because Stefan is still uh, in the back of my car uh, blindfolded and uh, yes totally out of life but yes as we just heard uh, we was uh, attacked by some sort of uh, insects I believe chimeran insects that infect us with the with the virus chimeran virus but uh, I, Sergeant Hill, the person that I control, was the only one not to get uh, visible wounds from the infection as the only one and the others was found dead. But yeah, I, you're on the way uh, to take back the territory and they get to the base we are trying to get to and here is some Cameron creeps I don't know what they are but uh, at the time I played it the first time I called them Kentucky Fried Chicken I don't know why so we'll just call them KFC chickens and these bastards are very fast and very annoying but yeah me and and my other comrade are on the way to the base. And we are at these Cameron KFC chicken creeps outside of Starbucks. And my comrade is very slow and annoying. Yes, here we have some, and, and Stephen just got a text message, I'm sorry about that, but here is some uh, other Camerons that are trying to stop us, but as good as and as good and awesome as I am, I stop them. And here is a medical uh, thing that uh, is going to restore your life, and as you can see, the life bar is the, in four parts. And uh, that means if you get a little a little wounded, so you lost a little life, it will uh, go up to the next uh, to the nearest fourth power and restore your life to that. If you know what I mean, you can see an example in a bit. Yes, I'll just go back. Let's see. As you saw there, it. It was raised again to full life because it was within the last fourth half. And if we look now, I don't. I will not uh, get restored to full life because it is not within the fourth half, but the third half it was dead. So it will uh, restore me to the third part. Mm. 
Good story, bro. Yes, as you heard, we are still trying to get the P depot, and we are on a good way. And look down there, that's a tank. Let's hope that I will be able to use that. I love tanks, and I love driving them. And M drop, Saber Truth. Oh, I love this. I love this truck. And I love big guns and heavy machines. Stay shut the fuck up. You are back in my truck. In my car. So yeah. Without any problems, the cameras are dead. And I just sh uh, smashed a uh, camera to camera uh, smash yes. and I am totally fucked up in my head so I don't know which way to go but I see I have to go this way and as seen here the Meron knife now got the Missiles that are flying against me. But the uh, funny is that that they don't, they can't kill me at at first because this is, this is a very armored tank and it's actually incredible how their modern technology can destroy me. Yes, we are uh, closer to the end. Stay tuned for other episodes and I'll see you all in a bit. Bye bitches.